He is known for his diverse expertise as a mathematician, philosopher, and man of letters. He is recognized for his directorship of the Academy de Sciences and his presidency of the Prussian Academy of Science. His name is Pierre-Louis Maupertuis. In the world of science, there are individuals whose contributions leave an indelible mark. One such luminary is Pierre-Louis Moreau de Maupertuis, a French mathematician, philosopher, and man of letters. His brilliance led him to become the director of the Academy de Sciences and the first president of the Prussian Academy of Science, at the invitation of Frederick the Great. Maupertuis embarked on a remarkable expedition to Lapland, driven by a desire to determine the shape of the Earth. This journey was no ordinary endeavor, as it involved arduous travels and meticulous measurements. His findings brought forth a profound understanding of our planet's form and paved the way for future scientific endeavors. But Maupertuis' contributions extended beyond the realm of geography. He is often credited with inventing the principle of least action, which is now known as Maupertuis' principle. This integral equation revolutionized the study of physical systems, providing a means to determine the path they follow. His work in natural history also touched upon the concept of heredity and the struggle for life, foreshadowing modern scientific advancements in these fields. Pierre-Louis Moreau de Maupertuis' life and work exemplify the incredible impact one individual can have on the course of scientific progress. His unwavering dedication to exploration and knowledge has left a lasting legacy, inspiring generations of scientists to push the boundaries of understanding. Maupertuis' story serves as a reminder of the profound significance of scientific inquiry in shaping our understanding of the world around us. Pierre-Louis Maupertuis, a brilliant scientist of his time, dedicated over two decades to developing a groundbreaking principle known as the Least Action Principle. This principle proposed that in all natural phenomena, there is a tendency for a quantity called action to be minimized. Maupertuis believed that this action could be mathematically expressed as the product of the mass of a body, the distance it traveled, and its velocity. In 1741, Maupertuis presented a paper titled, Loi du Repos de Corps, to the Paris Academy of Sciences. In this paper, he demonstrated that a system of bodies at rest tends to reach a position where any change would create the smallest possible alteration in a quantity similar to action. This revelation challenged the existing understanding of the behavior of stationary bodies, providing a new perspective. Continuing his research, in 1744, Maupertuis presented another paper to the Paris Academy titled Accord de plusieurs lois naturelles que avaient par jusqu'ici incompatibles. This paper showcased his findings on the behavior of light during refraction, particularly how it bends when entering a new medium. Maupertuis argued that the total path of light from one medium to another minimizes a quantity similar to action, further supporting his principle. In 1746, Maupertuis submitted yet another paper, Loix du Mouvement et du Repos, to the Berlin Academy of Sciences. This paper focused on point masses, bodies treated as concentrated matter at a single point for analysis purposes. A heated debate during that time revolved around the behavior of such bodies in collisions. Cartesian and Newtonian physicists argued for the conservation of momentum and relative velocity, while Leibnizians advocated for the conservation of live force or vis viva quantity defined by the product of mass and the square of velocity. Maupertuis, however, demonstrated that point masses also minimize action, without the need for the concept of life force. Maupertuis' principle of least action transcended the boundaries of different bodies and phenomena. It applied to systems of bodies at rest, the behavior of light, and even to hard and elastic bodies. Its universality fascinated Maupertuis, and he saw it as a testament to the wisdom of an infinitely wise creator. He shared his cosmological interpretation of the principle in his 1750 work, Essay de Cosmology, arguing that the principle of least action displayed the workings of wisdom in the construction of the universe, providing a powerful argument for the existence of a wise creator. Maupertuis' groundbreaking discovery revolutionized our understanding of natural phenomena and the underlying principles that govern them. His principle of least action continues to shape the field of physics and stands as a testament to the brilliance and ingenuity of Pierre-Louis Maupertuis. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.